In today's quick tutorial, we're going to focus on sends and buses in Pro Tools, specifically some key commands and shortcuts to speed up your workflow when using these features. So let's take a look at a mix window here and let's find our sends. They're located directly underneath the inserts. There are 10 sends labeled A through E for the first five and F through J for the last five. I don't need 10 of them for today. So first key command, let's hide sends F through J. Very simply, we're gonna hold down the option key and click where it says sends F through J. Let's get comfortable with some modifier keys when using multiple tracks and sends in Pro Tools. First, option. When holding down option and you're on one of the selector spots, this will be all. This means if I route one of my channels to bus one and I have option, it's going to send them across all the channels. Hold down option to remove that. If I wanted to send them across all, but only within a selection, like I have my drums selected right now, I'm gonna hold down shift and then option. Now when I go create a send, it will send them across that bus, but only within the selected tracks. Let me remove that. If I want to create a cascading sequence, something that goes uh, bus one, bus two, bus three, bus four, I'm gonna hold down option command, go to bus one, and you'll see now bus one, two, three, four, and that goes all the way across cascading up. If I wanna create a cascading effect, but within the selected tracks, here we go, shift option command, hold down, Make sure not to let go of the modifier keys before you let go of the mouse. Now it'll cascade within the selected area. So let's go ahead and put this to use. For example, I have a reverb channel that I would like to put the snare top and my three toms. I would like to bus to that reverb channel. So again, I'm going to make sure with my modifier keys, I'm going to be holding down option for multiple, but shift option specifically for only these four channels. Now within this channel, I already have a track created. So I'm gonna go down to track this time, go to drum reverb, and you'll see it automatically bust these four channels to the drum reverb channel. Now it floats a channel strip, but if I wanted to see them simultaneously, let's go to another key command here, command click on the left corner, and that's gonna allow us to see the pertinent information for that bus within that selected channel. Command click to collapse, command click to expand. Now, if I wanna send all of my drums to a submix, I'm gonna to go to the outputs. I'm gonna to go to the last output in this example, and I'm gonna hold down shift option so it only affects these channels. And this time I'm gonna to go to new track. I would like this to go to a stereo AUGS track. I would like it to be called my drum bus. And voila, all the outputs now being submixed into a drum bus, named, automatically matching the outputs to the input. Perfect. Let's try our cascading sequence here. Let's say I want to send these four guitar tracks. I would like to send them to multiple buses, different ones, cascading, shift, option, command, Go down, pick bus one. This will now be bus one, two, three, and four. And I could set that up for a reverb, chorus, delay, or what have you. Practice these shortcuts a few times and make sure to start using them inside your next Pro Tools session.